In this video, we will discuss about the entity structure set up in the Blackline application. Entity structure, organization structure, chart of accounts, these all are one same thing. And this are this is the first and the most important step when we go for the when we define any kind of a, a financial application. So this is the black line home page in the black line home page to define an organization structure. We go to the settings and under the settings, we click on the organization structure tab. Once the organization structure tab is clicked, it will direct you to the entity structure page. There are multiple tabs like add entity, add entity level, modify existing entity levels, export, expand all and the collapse all options given on the specific, this specific page. The first step to is to add the entity levels. The le there are multiple levels that an entity can create. At present, you can see there are eight levels that is created in the black line. Once the levels are created in the black line, we define the entities under these existing levels. So in order to add one single entity, click on add entity and provide the relevant details like unique ID, the name and under what level it is been getting created and what's the parent for this any created to be created entity. So likewise, we can create multiple entities under all the levels. Like for example, if there is a location as one level created. So for the specific locations, the separate entities can be created with the parent given as location. Similarly for region like APAC, EMEA, so uh, uh, US, America. So all these regions can be created with the level defined as specific region under the relevant parent group. Once you click on save, it will give a message of operation succeeded and that particular entity appears on your entity structure. So this is the first way to add a single entity within the black line itself. So now what if you have multiple entity structure like 100, 200 entities in there in the big organization? How to put that into the black line? because adding one by one is very time consuming. So in order to add that, go to the community button on your home page on the left hand side below left hand side. Once the community button is clicked, the it will direct you to the black line community. Scroll down and click on the data import template. That's the last option which you can see on the screen. When the, that is clicked, it will open the uh, the information regarding the data import template, how to use the data import template. First download that particular template. It's an Excel file will have different different tabs wherein you can provide the entities information in Excel workbook. It's like you have if, if in case you have 100, 150 or 200 entities that needs to bring into the black line, put everything all together in the this entities tab with all the information. Entity unique identifier is the unique identifier of any particular entity. No two entities name uh, uh, this unique identifier can be same. It has to be different. Entity name is the enlarged name of the entity unique identifier and the entity level is the level that which this entity will be placed. As we discussed earlier, the entity levels also can be created uh, via this data import template, the one that you see in the entity types. But here in this video, we will be assuming that the entity levels have already been created and now we are putting all the entities through Excel into the black line. So once all the details have been populated into the Excel, 
then save that excel into the uh, the uh, select only those four lines the four rows and paste it into the notepad so once the notepad is saved then go into the black line and from the settings option under the jobs category select the import data so once you click on import data this particular screen will appear on your home on in front of you select the entities option from the drop down in the import type column so once the entity is selected browse the file after clicking on the choose file once the choose file is uh, is clicked then it will select it will give you this windows option from where your you can browse your notepad file uh, where, which has been saved earlier just a, a one step before select that particular entity and click on open once it is open it will show that your operation is succeeded and then you go to the import status option so once this go to import status button is clicked it will directly take you to the import status of that particular file so the one thing that we need to understand that this file is successfully loaded if this is showing as yes that means the data from your excel has been successfully loaded into the black line however in case of no you click on the magnifying glass on the left hand side and then the, there you will get to know the details of all the error message because of that your file has not been loaded so once it is successful you get in go into the entity and the organization structure in the black line and all your entities will start populating over here however again if you want to do any modifications in the entity you can click on that entity right click on that go to edit and you can do some editing if you want to this well uh, in this way we can bring all the entities information into the black line thank you we will cover the next series of the setups uh, in our continuing videos